Let's imagine a scenario where you are a student working in a chemistry lab. You're asked to set up a reaction. Your chemistry lab has one large scale that's only precise to the nearest 10 grams, and one small scale that is precise to 1 one hundredth of a gram. Now in an ideal world, you would use the small scale for all of your measurements in order to have maximum precision. However, a certain reaction calls for a large amount of one chemical and a small amount of another. So that one chemical, there's going to be too much. You're not going to be able to fit it on the small scale. Your professor also wants you to keep good notes and asks you to record the total mass of your chemicals. What is that total mass with correct significant figures given these values? The first chemical, 2,140 grams measured on the large scale. And the second chemical, 17.32 grams, measured on the small scale. Now the rule to remember when adding numbers in science is that your final answer cannot be more precise than your least precise measurement. So in this case, the 2140 is your least precise measurement. So what can you do to make sure that you always follow this rule? I recommend you line up your numbers vertically. And the reason you do this is when I look at this number here, I should be able to know from my significant figure rules that because there's no decimal and this zero is to the right of other digits, it is not a significant figure. That means that this is my last significant figure. It also means it's uncertain. It may be four, it may be three. And it also means that this digit determines the precision of my number. However, for my second number, it's the two that determines the precision. I do have a decimal, there's no zeros, so the last digit determines the precision. This is the uncertain number here. Okay, when you put this into a calculator, this is the number that will come out, 2157.32. But I know I need to round it. So here's what you can do. Because the four is the digit that determines the precision of the number, just draw a line straight down after the four. Do the same for any other numbers in the addition. And then take the line that is furthest to the left. That's the one that tells you where to round off. So in this case, I need to round this five off. Because seven is above five, I round the five into a six. So I get a final answer of 2,160 grams.